the wasteland. It comes in five parts. The burial of the dead, a game of chess, the fire sermon, death by water, and what the thunder said. It's really worth knowing when a poem is written so that you can see what, uh, what informed it. T.S. Eliot beginning with the burial of the dead is um, reflecting what, was, what it felt to be in this society post-war. We don't see wars anymore, do we? You know, there's wars happening all over the world, but we don't see them. Even the coffins come back sort of hidden. I want the poem to feel as fresh in the reader's mouth as it was in the writer's mind. For me to read a poem, you do become the medium. You really do, and there's nowhere to hide. You know, you're there, you're, you're, you're exposed. Every word can be said in many different ways. Every single word can be said in many different ways. Enjoy the fact that your interpretation of any line is your job. Every single word can be said in many different ways. I wish when people read poetry that they held silence in mind. Because one of the things that people do when reading poetry aloud is they race through it without thinking about what they're saying. A good silence within a poem is incredibly powerful. Poetry is probably more popular now than it's ever been since the beginning of poetry. And that is due to technology. That's due to Twitter. That's due to Facebook. We are communicating through the internet via words and images. You know, revolutions can start through people sending out words about what their conditions are. And poems are used at those revolutions. There is no set way to read a poem. That's me, I've been a poet all of my life. With your accent, with your intonations, you are what's important to the reading of this poem. So how do you find you?